Yo guys, welcome back to another Disney Dreamlight Valley video by myself, Decker, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a really good guide on how to make your own tree farm to get wood. So, as you can see here, I need wood for this quest with Moana. I also need hardwood because I want to make a clock tower in the middle of my uh, valley. So, pretty easy is what you want to do is go onto furniture now. Me, I'm not really too bothered about other trees around the meadow. The meadow's more of like a harvesting thing for me, so I've got all my crops here. As you can see, I'm going to be building more like crop areas here and here and here. So all of this is going to be filled out with crops and trees, so I'm not really bothered about other trees. Like I have some trees just for decoration, so that's hanging over Merlin's house, and that's hanging over, you know, the pond to make it look, you know, different. But some trees you can't actually get rid of here, like that one's stuck there, and whereas like you know all the other trees I got rid of so basically what you want to do is so I think it is if you have four or five trees in one area then they will actually drop you random uh, pieces of wood every single time so what I choose to use is these sort of trees which are called lush sinister fir or slender sinister fir now I think you actually have to unlock a certain biome for these I'm not too sure which one um, you can have them all in one area if you really want to, or you can have them scattered around, you know, your um, part of the valley that you're choosing where they're going. But me, I just kind of bunch them together because it just looks more clean when they're together like that. It's like a little tree farm. Um, I did actually put this tree in there just just for the decoration. Um, it does look a bit a bit stupid in the meadow because it's not actually snow in there so I've done that like that um, trying I like them to all be level on the same sort of like side like that so yeah that's that there <coughs> and as you can see when I just pick them up it picked me up more things that I needed some more pieces of wood I also have another tree farm down here in the glade and as you can see I have a lot of fir trees planted and they dropped me quite a lot of different types of wood every day they can drop me different types so they can drop me softwood and hardwood as you can see here like they're dropping me hardwood as well and dry wood which is always good because I need a lot of wood to make certain things in my valley um, yeah it's always good to have tree farms planted around and you can just plant these trees yourself uh, some people might say it's cheating but me I'm just I'm just thinking it's exploiting the game's normal mechanics really so it's not like you're you're doing anything wrong you're just planting more trees to get yourself more wood just saving yourself more time um, it's a real easy thing to do you can do it anywhere you know I can even plant any tree in any sort of location so if I wanted a snowy tree in here even though it's not snowing I could go ahead and plant that right there as you can see I'm not going to because I like things to look you know clean and the same sort of um, uh, vibe sort of thing I don't know what the word is for it like the same sort of uh, theme that's the one so I could plant some of these sinister trees and some of these long ones just dot them around sort of thing could even plant one of these here if I wanted I'm not gonna do that though um, but yeah it's a real good way just to get easy easy wood so there we have them ones them are the first ones we could even go over to other areas like the forgotten lands we could go there and see how these have a load of trees we could get rid of all these trees because the, I'm not really bothered about trees there and I can't really move around in there with all these trees so with me I'm going to be turning this into a pumpkin farm so I could just remove all these trees because I don't need them there's like so many trees here I can remove all of these ready for my pumpkin farm but if I wanted to put a, a tree farm up here I could actually come up here and place down my own sort of trees that I want to make it look better but there's so many trees in here I didn't know there was this many trees my god wow you can actually see it more better now some bits you can't actually obviously get rid of like these bits that are stuck inside there only the ones that highlight you can get rid of I don't know what's that I don't know what that is So you can get rid of all the trees and then plant your own trees down, which I'm going to be showing you once I've got rid of all of these. 
They're taking a while to get rid of. I didn't realise there's this many. Oh my days, there's more. Bye, 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 bye. Oh my god, there's, there's like actual fawns that aren't night fawns. Jeez. We actually do need to go up here and get rid of the night fawns as well. And collect all the uh, the bits on the floor that we haven't collected. I think that's everything. I think that is just about everything to be honest. A few of them bushes dotted around. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, not that that matters. But say we wanted to plant... Say if I wanted to plant my sinister trees that I had earlier, I could literally just plant them here as well, which is... Not them as sinister trees, the lush sinister trees. I could just, you know, I could just dot a few of these around. Just like so. And because I've got at least like four, the world drop me stuff. Which is good, you can absolutely ram it for and you'll get obviously more. But yeah, that's just a little hack on how to get yourself more wood. It's really, really efficient and you do get a lot more wood, guys. If you enjoyed, guys, smash the like button for Donald. Because he's telling you, oh boy, this is the best video. And yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to. I would appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next Dreamlight Valley video. Peace, guys.